Okay, so this is the lesson 21, understand fractions on the number line, session two. Okay. It says write the missing fraction labels. All right, let's do that. So what do you think? First of all, what's my denominator? Three, because how many sizes are there? Three of them, okay? Now, it doesn't want the unit fraction, that's, that's the fractions inside, okay? So if I was on a number number line from zero to the first one is how much? One what? One third. One third, because we're talking about fractions and not a whole number. Okay. Yeah. And then after one third, what comes next? Two thirds. What comes next after that? Three thirds. Three thirds. Okay. So in other words, from zero to here is one third, then it's two thirds from zero to here, then it's three thirds from here to here. Okay. The unit fraction for each one of these is one third, so that's a little different. All right, go and watch the video, we'll go from there. Okay, so it says write the missing labels on the number line under under the uh, under the area model, then tell what fraction each part of the area uh, below, uh, model shows. It should say unit fraction because it's asking what's a fraction for each section individually, okay? Easiest one to find out is my denominator, right? So what's my denominator if I look at the model? How can I find my denominator? The number at the bottom. How do you know that? <clears throat> you counted what? I counted all the squares, or some of you might go, oh, if I did, if I just jump all the way to the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's eight. My denominator is eight. That is correct. Cool. Well, after zero, what, what comes first? One, one, which is one eighth, right? What comes next? Two Go ahead and do the rest. So then I should have three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths, right? Okay. Each part shows. Okay, so what would be my unit fraction, or what's the fraction for each one of those individually? One okay, well, my denominator is eight, okay, and each one of those, okay, um, is one, so one eighth, okay. When it says, what is the fraction of each part, okay, my number is always going to be one, okay. Individually, it's one eighth. If I put them all together, I get eight over eight, right? Okay, and then I can I could uh, put the fractions in in the correct order on the number line. Go and do this one on your own, please. Go. So I need to find my denominator. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. So I go zero to the first one, that's one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six. What each part shows, well, my denominator is six, and each part, okay, my unit fraction is what they call it, is one six. So that means it's one six here, 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 and one six here. However, If I highlight this, see, I have how much? Three six, right? Look, three six, like that. Okay, if I highlight this, how much do I have? Five six. If I highlight this, 
two sixths. If I highlight this, four sixths. Okay. Oops. 176. It says use the number line to show the fraction. So number line, right? Ah. Zero to one. Okay. My denominator tells me how many sixes am I going to need. So my denominator is what? Six. So how many sixes am I going to break up the number line? Into six. That's three, and then half of each one. That's six. My numerator tells me where I need to put the dot at. Okay? So my numerator is what? What's my numerator? The top number. Four. four. Look. One, two, three, four. So, it says use the number line to show the fraction. There it is. Okay. I'm not going to do the bottom one because we're not covering that right now.